Hello, Masok Universe. For the second part of my Copa America jersey review, after this one we are two-thirds through, because there are only three groups with four teams each. And I expect it to be a shorter one, because I reviewed three out of four nations here already. Um, two on the blog, two via video already so yeah there's only one team that i will have a completely fresh take on it which also makes it a little bit hard harder for me because i don't want to be too inconsistent um i have have to look at it i'm wearing my argentina 2014 home jersey uh again a 2014 jersey as in part one for a good reason I don't expect to wear Argentina a lot during this Copa America because Argentina is a mess. Um, and I promise for the next video part three, uh, there's only one choice uh, for me to wear and it's not a 2014 jersey. So it will be something else. I was thinking, shall I do the 2008? I actually like this one a teeny bit better. And with our, talking about this Argentina jersey a little bit, where I haven't made a video yet, let's go to the current Argentina home jersey to start it off. I already reviewed this for the Women's World Cup video up here. Um, and I've reviewed it on my, on my blog, link down below. Uh, needless to say, I'm not a big fan. Uh, the best feature to me are the three stripes in sky blue that really pop. I'm somewhat okay that you know you have white stripes, although I prefer the thinner stripes like on this one a little bit more. Uh, but the sound wave pattern, I know they need to do something different, but it's a, a little bit too much and it gets very, very light. I mean, from a distance, this looks more like a white shirt than an Argentina shirt. Here, the lighter blue and the white, there's a huge contrast. On this shirt, there's hardly any contrast on it. And then to top it all off, this thing, uh, this thing, you don't have black accents, you have uh, dark blue accents, similar to the Argentina away jersey from 2015, this one here. Uh, that's the blue that they're using, and if they would, wear, would be wearing this jersey with um, that one as the away jersey, I think this would make a whole lot of sense, but no, they're not doing that. They're, as, as we'll see, they're using a black jersey, so... Um, doesn't make much sense. I don't like the look. They also use the dark blue pants. I think the best feature other than the stripes are that the numbering style, uh, although it's for some numbers a little, a little bit weird, is much better than the one used at the World Cup. So I do like that. But overall, I'm sorry, this jersey is a mess. It fits with this particular Ar Argentina team, although, you know, so far they have been dreadful. Maybe uh, since I'm recording this, they might make a turnaround. We shall see. Um, I can only give this three stars. I'm sorry. This is one of the worst Argentina jerseys I've seen in a long time. The away jersey is the black away jersey that we already saw at the World Cup, uh, unless they again surprise me, uh, like at the Women's World Cup, where I didn't see it coming that they suddenly use one of the best uh, away jerseys or Argentina away jerseys in a long time. I still keep this wild card. I linked it in, in the Women's World Cup review uh, video up here. I also reviewed this one for the Women's World Cup wrongly. Um, this one per se, I think black is not that bad of a color. However, I really like my navy blue Argentina away jerseys and especially the inspiration for this one was navy blue with those um, three stripes similar to what Germany had in 92. So there I'm hurting. I find also this that the um, Flags are a little bit too compressed here, and then with the stripes in it, it makes it all dirty. <sighs> I had the chance to buy this once, twice, and I never could get myself to buy it. Uh, if money wasn't an object, I probably would have this by now. But um, overall, I'm not a big fan of this one. And for that, I give it only, as I did in the Women's World Cup and in my blog review, four stars. Which takes us to the next nation, and boy, uh, there is not good jerseys in this uh, group, to be honest. Uh, Colombia. I wrote a lengthy blog post about this because I really thought that this will be the template for the Arsenal away jersey. Should have. It is not. The new Arsenal away jersey also takes a Bruce Banana look, but not as much as this one here. Um, 
Although I really could have seen them using, but I guess ours as the new sign, they need to come up with something special. For Columbia, we need to also come with something special. I still think this is more or less the famous Arsenal Bruce Banana look in the modern interpretation with a lot of specs in there. Throw in a much lighter color, uh, even lighter color than they already had at the um, World Cup for the blue, ah, uh, yellow, sorry. I keep my colors messed up. And you arrive at a true mess of a jersey. Yes, the pattern is bold. I gotta give it that, but it just looks so messy. Uh, and muddy in, in, in a way. I really like my bright yellow Columbia jerseys. Uh, and they can have some navy blue accents. You can even put a flag on there as they did in 2015. I think uh, probably have a video even on that one. We have to see. So, uh, but that one just doesn't cut it to me. Uh, what saves it from being truly an awful kit is that it's actually worn with uh, blue pants and red socks and that the numbering style in red is not a bad one. I also don't like that the uh, back is just plain yellow, uh, which doesn't even make more sense. Uh, honestly, again, another jersey that I'm not very fond of, uh, especially the non-vibrancy of this one, the, it's kind of more muddy and for that reason also only three stars. You can read all about it on my blog below. Yep, finally let's look at a good jersey. That's the Columbia away jersey. They use the same one that we have already the World Cup that I'm now owning. Here it is. This beauty, I've already worn it in a few videos. Uh, it is not my favorite Columbia away jersey, however, I really like it uh, for two reasons. A, I think the blue and orange is a great com combination and orange in with Columbia makes actually sense because Columbia has been wearing uh, orange for a long time from the 70s because they took the inspiration and they wanted to kind of honor the great Dutch team from the 70s. So. Uh, a nice nod to history. I think blue as an away jersey makes a whole lot of sense. Um, and I think even the, this bright blue color is really nice. The only thing that I always had a problem with, at least last year, is uh, this pattern going uh, across the left shoulder behind the crest, uh, which is clearly a reference to the 94 uh, style, Adidas style that, for instance, Spain used at the World Cup. However, there it was on the other side, uh, it was on uh, the right side and not on the left side. So I was always wondering, why do you do that? Um, I know it now, this is also a reference to the Mulera, which is a, a, a scarf that's used by coffee growers, cafeteros, and since it's also the nickname of the um, Colombian national team, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense too. I even can forgive, I'm not a big fan of the crest, but I even can forgive that the crest is just uh, monochromatic because it really uh, fits well with the jersey. And I said it when I got this jersey, uh, it's kind of funny that this is my first blue with orange accent jersey because I always thought it would be a Dutch jersey, but no, it's this wonderful Columbia jersey that I give 8 stars. Let's go to a team that I have not reviewed anywhere, which is Paraguay, with those uh, interesting shirts from Adidas. Uh, it's, an, it's the Adidas style where we have the, uh, sides on, uh, the stripes on the sides, and it is very bold in the sense that it's very thin stripes. Paraguay and Argentina are, to my knowledge, the only teams, national teams, that have by default striped jerseys. Um, and I have to say, for Argentina, the jersey, the jersey stripes were too wide. Here, they're very thin, maybe a tad too thin, but I like this a lot better. I think this is a really good look on uh, Paraguay, especially with the blue on the sides. It's a little bit Atletico Madrid. I mean, Atletico Madrid and Paraguay have very similar looks overall. Um, I like the simple round collar, uh, the crew uh, neck collar with um, a little bit of a blue um, trim the same thing goes for the sleeve cuffs maybe if the sleeves were also uh, striped this would make it even better but i think this is overall a good look the only thing i don't like is the um, shoulders and also that on the back uh, you know they have the white um, plate for names and numbers so this is always a little bit odd uh, the paraguay crest is a little bit updated i think it's all right uh, but i think they could have been also something better as well 
overall I think it's a decent look. Um, I want to give this um, 7 star rating. It's the best no, second best jersey so far. Uh, the away jersey is, was newly made for the Copa America using the template that we already saw for Sweden and Belgium um, at the World Cup, the Condivo template with all these checkerboards. It is in blue, which makes a whole lot of sense, and with white accents, I wish there was a little bit red in there as well. So nothing exciting, but also nothing bad. I actually think those look quite good. I actually would like to have one of these shirts um, though from this template because it's so ubiquitous and I think they look good. I mean, my preferred one would be the Sweden one, to be honest. Um, I think I like this one as well. Uh, it's not very exciting, but it's also not bad and I'm gonna give this six stars. Speaking of non-exciting, we're gonna go now to the guest team and don't get me started on guest teams at the Copa America. Qatar is uh, that one, which we reviewed already at the Asian Cup video link up there uh, very plain in maroon Adidas, uh, Nike as plain as it can be um, the crest surprisingly although it looks like a soccer ball surprisingly ornate so I like that and you know you can give get the full rundown uh, on the video for the Asian Cup I gave these seven stars and the away jersey which when I shot this for the Asian Cup I didn't have now I do have it and it's basically the same jersey except it has this uh, France style button on the bottom it's but other than that, it's the same jersey just reversed uh, in white it really doesn't look bad and it's the jersey that they won the first international title uh, in against Japan for the Asian Cup again ornate crest not crazy looking, uh, but it's plain, it's simple. There is some stylishness to it, especially the crest really helps this one. And that's why I'm also giving this seven stars. There you go. We are through group B. Next up is group C. I will see when I will come out with that one. Um, just give me time. There's a lot of things going on at, at the moment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which jerseys you like, which you dislike, where you agree and where you disagree with me. I know sometimes I like plain jerseys, sometimes I like crazy jerseys. Um, it depends on how traditional the team is for me. Uh, a rather non-traditional or slightly exotic team can get away with crazy looks. I'm speaking Africa or sometimes Asia even. Uh, for traditional teams, not so much, to be honest. So I understand that people especially big companies want to try to get new looks out but sometimes it gets a little bit too much it would be better to retain a jersey especially if it was just worn at the world cup and the argentina jersey at the world cup wasn't all that great to begin with anyway subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jersey reviews game reviews whatever uh you, you fancy and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.